stop by Whole Foods to get a little treat. <laughs> Justine got tiramisu. I got this lime and mango raw food cake. I actually made the mistake of not looking at the price when I grabbed this. When we checked out, saw it was like $10, so this better be the best cake I ever tried in my life. I already would say that it's probably not worth it because you get two little cakes. <laughs> try yours. Mm -hmm. Mine kind of looks like a cheesecake. It does look like a cheesecake. Mmm. It tastes good. Mm hmm. Wanna try? Sure, watch it. It's mine. good. Mine. Okay, it's good. I thought it'd be. It's actually really good. It's mm -hmm. good. I mean, it's really, really good. Yeah, tiramisu oh. is really good too. since I've last seen you. I didn't even pick up my camera yesterday just because it was a really boring day. I didn't do anything exciting. I kind of just laid low, did a lot of schoolwork. Um, Daniel and I ran some errands and um, he had a doctor's appointment and I went to go get some film developed. But that's pretty much everything exciting that happened. Um, last thing you saw, uh, I was hanging out with my sister. We did brunch, dessert. We're watching Attack on Titan like all afternoon. I've seen all of the episodes up to date and it's probably one of my favorite shows, especially when it comes to anime, probably my favorite anime, but she's never watched it at all or any anime. So um, I'm watching it over with her. So whenever she comes out to hang out at my place, that's what we do. We watch a lot of Attack on Titan. But other than that, didn't really do anything more. It's Friday now and I want to run a few errands. I need to get a couple more things for my sister's birthday present. Wednesday wasn't her actual birthday. Thursday, yesterday was her birthday. And on Sunday, we're actually celebrating at my parents' house with cake and presents. So I have most of the things together, but there are a couple more things that I want to get. So I'm going to do that now, and then I'm going to put the gift together today so that I have it all ready. And then I'll show you everything that I got for her. Tomorrow I work all day, so I won't really have time to take care of any of that. So today's a good day to take care of the rest of that stuff. I'm one of those people that get really excited when I'm buying gifts for other people. I, especially when I find something that I know that they'll like or they'll use. So I'm actually really excited about the things that I have for my sister's birthday presents. So I'll show you those soon, but I need to go to Ulta and to Target. I think those are the only places that I really need to stop. But yeah, starting today a little bit later, this morning I went to the gym, um, read, showered, got ready. Have a little smoothie here, a little green smoothie. I put banana, spinach, oat milk, protein powder, and I also put some matcha in there for some energy and antioxidants. But it's very yummy and it's really hot, so it's very refreshing to have a nice cool smoothie. I actually have my visor up still in my car, I haven't taken off yet, because as soon as you take it down, when the sun gets let into your car, especially when it's over 100 degrees, it gets really hot. Also, last time I had my camera out, when Justine and I went out for brunch and stuff, it was really cloudy and really rainy. It was still very warm, but it was nice and cloudy. We hope for clouds out here in Arizona. to do these errands in a very congested
congested, busy center. The center is filled with like restaurants and shops. Oh gosh, don't hit me, dude. My goodness, everybody's in a rush to go I don't know where. We're in a parking lot. We're in a parking lot. And nobody has the patience to, I don't know, drive with common courtesy. I've almost been hit like three times. It's like two something in the afternoon. And everyone is out here everyone but i wanted to be efficient and get my shopping done in the same center where there was a target and an ulta together but yeah i'm kind of thinking that was a mistake because it is so crowded some things that I want to show you. I'm going to show you what I got today and then I'm going to show you everything that will go into my sister's birthday present. The first at Ulta, these are both going to my sister. I got her the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid just as a little moisturizer because I like to use this. I use this like every day. And then I also got her this body scrub. I've been using this too. It's supposed to help if you have like bumps on the back of your arms or just if you need to like exfoliate your body. This is a good one. I really like this one so I figured she would like it as well. And then from Target, I got a bunch of these Smart Sweets. So I got her the Sweet Fish, the Gummy Worms, the Gummy Bears, and Peach Rings. And one of these are for me because the peach rings are my favorite. Literally the last of these that were not melted. Every other one in the store was melted. Had like a cluster of the candy together. It's obviously really hot out when your gummy candy is melting together. So the other things that I got for my sister for her gift. I found this at a thrift store. She and I kind of have this thing that we've never communicated to each other but it's become a thing where we'll find records for each other for gifts because we both collect records. I don't listen to records all of the time but I do have a little bit of a collection now which I love. This one I found at Goodwill and it's Rhapsody in Blue and An American in Paris. If you haven't heard the songs look them up. They're really nice songs. You can find them on Spotify. The really long songs though and i'm guessing that one song is on one side the other is on the other side because the songs are like 10 minutes long but i think she'll like that another thing that ties into this gift that i got for my sister i've recently been collecting thrifted film cameras this was my first one and actually on my TikTok I did a video showing off some of my favorite photos that I got with this camera. And I actually got so two and a half rolls of film out of this camera before it completely died. Sadly the little motor in there that helps load the film just just died and it wasn't loading film anymore so i don't know what i'm gonna do with this i might just keep it because it looks kind of cool it's from the early 90s and i really liked it this one here is the camera that i just used and the roll that i went to take in yesterday it was out of this camera so i'm hoping that that one turned out okay it seems to work okay the only thing i don't like about this one is it has an automatic flash i'd rather be able to control that But one day when my sister and I were thrifting together, hoping to find cameras, I found this one, which I put batteries in it and it seems like it works all right. It seems like, you know, it exposes properly and the motor's working okay. It has a really cool little like zoom on it. 
and then it has a feature for like red eye it has a feature for differentiating between like a landscape type photo and a uh, portrait type photo it has automatic focus you can control whether the flash is on or not so it has a lot of cool little features on it when I found it I grabbed it and I ordered batteries and got batteries for it it seems to be working great I haven't tested any film in it but then I found out like days later after I purchased the camera my sister was like oh yeah that camera was really cool I kind of wish that I grabbed it but you got it first so yeah it's like you know it was fine she wasn't like mad or anything but I could tell she was a little sad and disappointed and when you try to find vintage film cameras and you try to order them online they usually are a lot more expensive than if you find them at like a goodwill like this camera I think I found it for like eight dollars where if you try to purchase something like this online it would be at least like thirty dollars so I'm gonna give this to her as her gift because I have the other one that's working this Canon here works out fine I mean I'll find out if the film works out great and then I got another camera hold that thought let me go grab my other camera okay this one is another one that I found and this is really compact and tiny. I actually have a roll in this one and I'm testing this one out to see how well this one works. It seems to be working just fine and since I have this one that works and I have the other one that works, I figured, you know, I'll add this to my sister's birthday gift. ready to give to my sister. I think I'll leave this like this and kind of just give it together like that. So I think I'm actually going to end the vlog here. The rest of today will literally be me in front of my computer doing schoolwork and probably just eating and watching TV with Daniel. Nothing too exciting. If I do get some footage at my parents' house celebrating my sister's birthday, I will include that. But if I don't, I really wanted to say bye to you. And if you have watched all the way up until now, that's so awesome of you. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.